hello guys welcome to my channel i am samantha the introvert today i want to give you my personal review on this new bl drama it's called chem dura the series so without further ado let's get into it so in the background a woman is talking about the family's cursed okay let's talk about the drama before we get into this so Cam is born into a family that is cursed for only men and when he was born his mother thought it would be best to name him a female name so the curse wouldn't be onto him. His mother named him Kemjura which means forever safe and because of that Cam really thought he was forever safe until his 19th birthday. It is also said that once a male of the family reaches an age of 21, he will die. Which is why for extra protection, Kem's mother gave him a necklace that should protect him. But for some reason, over time, the necklace magic is wearing off and these entities are coming for Kem. I guess even if Kem got a female name, it won't fool the curse. Kem's friend Jet came to see him and it would seem that Jet is aware of the family curse. Then while walking around they came across a man exercising on a woman who is possessed and he seems to be doing a good job. But with what Kem sees, Kem thinks it's fake and to be honest I feel it's fake too. Also this one is and will be a member of their group. His name is Chan. He reminds me so much of Jinta from Cherry Magic 30 and the guy from Playboy the series. This is Karen and he's a shaman, a very young shaman who knows Jet and that's why Jet went to his way to bring Cam to meet him. Why is it when I look at him he reminds me so much of Nut? Anyways, Karen sat with them but unfortunately he told them that the curse Cam has is something he can't and must not get involved in and he said he will not help. Karen then told him that he will die soon and he should do all the things he can for fun before he dies and Cam got upset because Cam thinks Karen was making fun of him. But then two spiritual beings appeared to beg Karen to help Kem, but he ignored their plead. Well, if we see these spirits, then that means Karen is the real deal. But the closer the time gets, Kem doesn't have much living time with the curse coming close. But one night, something must have possessed Kem to draw him in the dark forest. Oh, it seems this old trip was supposed to be a camping trip. That is why Chan here, but the reason was to help Kem. But while they are watching Kem, Kem just disappeared in front of their eyes. Oh, I forgot to mention, this drama is a scary one. It seems in every upcoming drama, we will eventually get some scary ones. I don't think I am ready, but other from the scariness, the plot is nice. Luckily, Karen and his shaman powers is there. Even though he said he won't help them, he did because they begged him. Obviously, there must be a reason behind his action because at one point, Karen refused to help Kem. Now he is? The next day, Kem told Chan and Jet that he will stay with Karen until Karen agrees to help him. But it's not just that, but Kem have grown feelings for Karen. But while Chan took his glasses off to clean it, he couldn't see, so he thought the person he's touching and talking to is Cam, and he revealed that Cam has feelings for Karen. My question is though, why couldn't Jet just tell him he is not talking to Cam? Karen is upset and told Cam that he must eliminate that romantic thought out of his head but Cam thinks that Karen hates him but it's not the case. Now they will go magic training under Karen's care but then Karen told Cam that he must agree to not think of him as anything romantic if Cam choose to go this route. Later at night, while Kem was looking at himself in the mirror, the entity came for him. Right now, I'm contemplating if I want to watch this drama because it's scary, but then again, I know Pooh and Pavel have a scary movie coming too, and I want to watch it. 
Okay, big advice for people who hate scary movies and drama is to watch it in the day. And at night time to feel good, watch a little baby cartoon. Holy moly, something will happen to Chan. And judging by the location, Chan may have drowned. It's giving the sign. Look, I know Karen do this for a living, but damn, does he not get a break? I don't know why the curse is after Kim, but it's determined and it's wanting Karen to stay out of its way. Kim told Karen he is tired of this and he wishes to give up. He means that the curse can just come and get him and end his life. But it would seem that Karen and Kim were once lovers in their past life and I guess Karen knew. So maybe they loving each other caused someone to curse Kim's side of the family. Must be either Kim past life or Karen's past life rejected someone or something. So that would explain why Karen was playing hard to get with Kim. Further down the drama, they will start to be in a relationship and Kim is not allowed to call him master. Kim must call him Pim. Interesting enough is that they are in a secret relationship because Jet and Chan doesn't know but they get a feeling because they can see that both Karen and Cam like each other. But as they were about to get caught, Karen put them to sleep. What a good day to have powers. I know I will like this drama for the romance but not so sure about the scary part. Okay guys, that is the end of my review on the official pilot of Kemjira the series, which is coming soon. It is not confirmed when, but it is sure to be in this year 2024. So when it is out, look out for my personal review. So as always, if you like my reviews, give them a thumbs up, subscribe with notification bell so you never miss any of my videos and I will see you next time.